Okay, um, this is the item that finally came late at night <coughs> via your UPS. It's a clock by, um, Barrel Shack. I got it for almost four bucks. It ain't glossy, like I said, like they said. But, um, I'll show you some things, but, um, And this is the inside of the clock. Um, like I said, it's, to me it's a, not a bad clock. These were the instructions that came with it. And the tag that was on it. So... And I'll show you something to laugh about. Something I paid almost four bucks for. So what the tag says it. Retails for $265. So, and I know what a lot of you viewers would say. You would not pay $265 for this. Now would you? <laughs> I didn't think so, but, um... I'm still currently, and it's about 8.22 p.m. here, in a bidding war with Uncle Tan and some other one now. And I'm sitting here going, well, that handbag's getting closer to $50. And it's like, do you guys realize it does not sell on eBay for retail price? It sells way, way below retail. Because that's the thing. I always double check with eBay on things too. Because I'll tell you. Um, I bid it on a Nokia MTV Carnival watch. But again, I'm in a bidding war, but I can't really bid too much. Because right now I'm relying on PayPal credit, which is over the limit. And I don't know when they would not allow me to use it for buying things. So, like I said, for the next couple months, we'll just make an appearance on Deal Dash just to get our 150, like I said, free bids and each day and then just let them add up until I have enough paid down or if I want something real bad I'll, I could bid on it because one thing I read they said put all the bids you have down right from the start and I'm sitting there going really and let bid buddy take care of you so I hate to say it, yeah, some of these ones, when they run out of bids real close, I think they get, like, a notification on their phone, and then they quickly buy a bunch of bids and put it into a bid buddy. It's like that Uncle T, and I swear he has over a thousand bids right now. It would not surprise me any. So, as for now... I'm just gonna kind of go put this away and <laughs> like I said because otherwise if my husband sees it, he's gonna be real upset like I said 
He doesn't take things that well. And... Yeah. Like I said, this is my first Barrel Shack, um... Plaque. Off a deal day ash. But like I said, um... Uh, like I said, uh, there, there's one thing I kind of know. You can't always keep bidding either on shit, and you got no one to stop bidding. That's one thing I kind of learned. And, you know, just kind of hoping also that maybe... You know, me and my husband will be off my back now since I gotten all the other stuff done today. But, like I said, I, I can tell everyone right now, with Mills Fleet Farm job, that third shift position where I'm only working Saturday and Sunday, I don't know if I'm going to accept the job or take it because... Yes, it's more money than Menards, but I will not be able to visit my mom and dad because they get Saturday and Sunday off only. Which leads me to only visiting them if they're on vacation, it would. So. And this is the reality. Is I don't need to tell, you know... DVR what's really going on right now. Why I'm thinking about even turning them down is because, um, like I said, uh, it's just getting to be where, like I said, and they didn't want to go by a flexibility. So... Like I said, um, so I'm sorry I can't stay up until 3.30 in the morning because I, I can't stay up like that. And, yeah, what they told me is there's no part-time for first and second shift. So, like I said, it's like, how are you going to do this, you know? Basically, you're going to have a long list of people on a waiting list. Because you and I am thinking about things and because they haven't really told me what job I'm doing yet, nor what my pay will be either. And I don't know if I want to take a job where I'm only working two days a week. Because I do want to be full time. So, I don't know much else. Um, but, like I said, it, I might tell them to put me on the waiting list for first shift because I don't know if I'm going to want to only work two days a week. And the other reason is I want to be able to sp ha spend time with my husband and if I do end up having kids I think about other things too. So... I also haven't been able to conceive a child for my husband, and we've been trying since, I think, June 2016. So, like I said, you know, things work in mysterious ways, but, yeah...
It is really hard to get a different job, though. Because, like I said, you know... Um, I'll still apply for work, though, because I don't know.